I know a lot of you are desperate. A lot of you don't want to do any research. All these immigration YouTubers, be careful. So it starts from you, they give half big information. All these people I used on my thumbnail. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're diving straight to the point. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm a lifestyle vlogger based in Portacourt, Nigeria. So I'm just diving into today's video. I'm so vexed, but I wanted to start ranting immediately. But in, I told myself, hey, you're a child of God. You, you need to count your words. You need to calm down. This video is for all our YouTubers that have left all their niche to join immigration channel, immigration niche, whatever they call that niche now. God, I have a lot of things in my mind and I didn't write down anything, but I'm going to start from here. First of all, it was the trend about UK, UK this, how to do this, how to do this, how to do this, a lot of things about UK. Uh, Canada was like, like I feel like people that do a lot of Canada content do something reasonable because I sit down to tell us step by step reasonable things, reasonable step by step. Oh, I, I did this and this and this to come move to Canada with my family. They are so reasonable. But when it comes to other countries, UK, a European country, some other country, people stop gullible Nigerians. Two years ago, I posted a video about Singapore. I heard the information. It was kind of trending on YouTube. I didn't do much research because why? I wanted to, I wanted to, I will be honest. I wanted to get the view. I did one Singapore visa, uh, video. You can move to Singapore with a visiting visa or visiting visa to a work visa. I didn't do my research. I felt other people were doing it and I just listened to some YouTubers and formed my own words and sat down to do the mix video. See, today people are still asking me about Singapore. I told them, a lot of them are visiting me. I'm no longer the, I see, you go, there's nothing like Singapore visits visa, convert to work visa. That was a mistake. Yes, is the video still up on my channel? Yes, people still ask me questions. At some point I told myself, I need to take down this video because it's a false information. And that's what a lot of people do here on YouTube. I'm going to today focus on Finland. First of all, this is going to be a new niche on my channel. So whenever you see my thumbnail or any topic we get to immigration, I'm here to bust and scatter fake information. I'm sitting here to scatter all those that fake information, fake uh, 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 travel agents all around YouTube, spoiling things for people, giving false information, giving people false hope. Yes, I know. Shout out to a lot of YouTubers doing amazing, amazing. Like the YouTubers on my thumbnail, uh, uh, Waka Waka Doctor. He gives you the information, go do your research. He brings people on on his channel. They talk about their experience moving to Estonia, moving to a lot of European country. The common line, he shares the, the platform with them and they share their experience. He tells you, go to this website, do this, do this, do this, and follow the instruction. He has a book he's selling and he's promoting. In case you want to Japan, anything about Japan, buy his book. You can follow the ones that need documentation, the ones that need authentication, all this legalization, all this thing. He carries you through the journey. Yeah. Like, kudos to you, Waka Waka Doctor. I don't even know if you're going to see this video. Then Tochi Esther doing her amazing, amazing, amazing work on her video. She gives you the right information. Like, I know a lot of YouTubers that have given right information. I'm not taking them for granted at all. Shout out to you all that gives the right information. That don't show up, quote, anything. This YouTuber don't tell you, oh, oh, oh. I, I, I moved to move to UK in 10 days. You see caption like that and it gets you wrong. You click on the video and the lengthy things to do, lengthy information to do. I know they are doing this for clickbait. I'm also a, a I'm also a content creator. You do a lot of things for clickbait at times. But this clickbait is getting out of hand because you click, a lot of people are desperate. In Australia and New Zealand, I know a lot of YouTubers that gives information, I've forgotten their names, but I know about three YouTubers that give you right information regards to Australia. When it comes to UK, I'm sure of Tochi Esther. I'm sure of her. And uh, when it comes to other countries, I'm sure of Waka Waka Doctor. When it comes to Finland, I'm sure of Root Academic Hall. She sit down, 
gently and gives you information. She's currently in Finland. She, she went to Finland through one of the routes and she gives you right information, what to do, this to do, the step to, she follows you through the, through, through the site. And some YouTubers are there. Most of them just jackpot last year. Most of them just left Nigeria two months ago, three months ago. One week ago, and they automatically turn to a travel agent. They automatically are an immigration expert. They know the rules and regulations in the country they're jackpot into, if there's any English like that. And all the country in general, you see them in maybe in UK or Portugal or uh, Austria or any of those countries. And they'll be telling you about US. Of course, I'm in Nigeria. I know about some immigration in some other country. Yeah, but the truth is give the right information. A lot of things have been happening when it comes to Finland vocational studies, which I don't want to sit down here to call names. But it's to get to a point, I'm going to call names. You know why I'm so passionate about this topic? Because I've lost money personally. I don't even want to share it on YouTube. They don't want to share that story. Now just sit down. All of you just sit down and start crying and cry with me. I'm, so I'm remembering it, I'm feeling so emotional. Like with the knowledge I have and everything. I still, I, I still lost a lot of money. I don't even want to go into that. But family members watching videos on YouTube and they're telling, oh, is that simple? Move to New Zealand in 10 days. Move to Australia in five days. And people start the process and they find out, okay, give me 100,000. I will help you do Duolingo test. Okay, the trend in regards to Finland vocational studies. I heard that a lot of people are coaching people. Oh, I have a slot with, you have a slot with who? Who exactly? You have a slot with Rivera, you have a slot with Vermeer, you have a slot with, uh, what is the other school? Uh, Savo, and uh, uh, you coach them how to write a Duolingo test. Okay, let's, 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 let's even accept that you can coach them to write a Duolingo test. A lot of uh, write-up, a, um, a lot of materials are out there coaching people how to write IELTS exam, right? Okay, you coach them how to, that's okay. You're a YouTuber, you, they pay you for your time. Okay, you're also telling them that filling the form, you guys, filling Vermeer, Rivera, and Savo form, my nine years old boy can literally fill that form. Talk more of a graduate. And you tell them you're, they're going to pay you to fill the form. The form is so tedious. The form is so uh, difficult to fill that they're going to pay you. Okay, I know your platform is making money platform. You're using your platform to make money. But th these are desperate people. I know a lot of people if in Africa, and especially in Nigeria, wants to leave the shores of Nigeria because of what is happening. And you, you all are milking people for Christ's sake. Give them false hope and false information. I saw another YouTuber writing, oh, all the people he groomed, they selected them for Christ's sake. Let's say Rivera, they are not simple, they are practical nurse. They had uh, an entrance exam. They have like a quantitative, like an entrance test. And you say you coach them. That test was literally, this year was actually the first time they're writing this test. So what material did you use to coach them? Savo that did Platinum World, that was the first time they wrote tests after the people that applied. And this, this school, this vocational studies are free school, as a matter of fact. And all over the world, they might be taking, let's say, 25 candidates. 30 candidates or 50 as a matter of fact and you come up and sit down in your house and dish out false information with your full chest about madam about God. I just want to be I don't want to push it so much because it's getting me so angry and I don't want to start this this new niche on my channel on an angry note on a note of um Calling out YouTubers. I don't want to do that because I'm always angry with people that call us YouTubers. But this channel, be ready. Whenever you see all these fake people giving fake, send it to me. We will do the review together. We will, we will confirm it together. We will do the research together. And come out and tell people, oh yeah, oh, it's a lie, oh, don't go. They'll tell you, okay, paying for consultation is not even a problem because I do business. I'm a business lady. If, if I get information, you can pay me for consultation. It's not my problem about paying for, but giving false information is my problem with you all. You better stop. You are in one 
country that you just jackpot. Some of them don't even have a YX certificate. They just managed to get into UK and they automatically turn to a migration expert. I don't want to call names, so you guys should just leave me alone. Family members have lost money. My friends here on YouTube have lost. I know emails have been getting because people dishing out inf fake information. Oh, come, come to Canada and convert your visit visa to a work visa, a retailer major with this job, with this job. We have list of jobs. Lies upon lies. Just to deceive people, to get those consultation fee or to get uh, uh, the 100000 or 50000 whatever fee they are charging. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Nigeria is already hard. And Nigerians abroad are making things harder for Nigeria, yeah. I know people are so desperate to leave. Don't make from that. I have a lot of information I can sit here to share. There are no people who ask me, I tell them consultation. But for Christ's sake, what are they consulting? And I also blame some of us, including me. We don't do our research. We don't sit down, you want to spend money or something, we can't sit down to make necessary research, to watch one or two videos, to Google is there, to Google something, to ask questions, to DM people, to send those emails, to even send the school email, send the school email, ask them those questions that those YouTubers are coming to say their quota has all been taken. Oh, you groom 20 people and those 20 people are how, as how. Some of them will tell you, oh, this school, call them. Call them as what? Call them as, as partners. You're not even going to Finland. I'm talking about Finland because it's the trending topic now. It's free vocational school. Everybody wants to milk people from that Finland. Enough is enough. I'm going to be sitting here week by week warning people against videos that are not verified, information that are so information that are not true. Please, let's be mindful. I know we all need money. I know a lot of you do this to need. I know a lot of you do this because you want to make money. But come on. Come on, your consultation fee should even be enough. You are in, you, you have jackpot that you're living a good life, and you say you're living a good life, and the people in Nigeria don't even want them to rest. They're also milking for them. Your wife are supposed to be giving debt. See the exchange rate. Please, let's just be mindful. I know a lot of people are giving out good information. Okay, my friend actually just uh, traveled and she gives us, she shared all her statement of purpose, shared everything, preset upon preset, step upon step, the school she applied, the, the step she, she, she made when she wanted to, when she, when she wanted to apply for schools in Canada. She, she told us she chose her many school, she told us that she presented her SOP, how she was, you know, intelligent. If you, if, if, if you want to follow it, you can go watch a video and step by step follow that process and, and jackpot successfully. That's how intelligent people talk. No, you come and open your mouth, wow, and say a man of nonsense and tell us things are not true. The confirmable things are not true. Let's be mindful. Please, if you see any YouTuber saying nonsense, tag me to that video. Call my attention to it. I'll watch the video and research. I'll do my research and tell you, oh, this part is true. This part is not true. I'm not yet even sit down to tell you lies. Tell you this part is true. This part is not true. Oh, don't listen to this part of the story. They are all lies. Let's be mindful. And for us in Nigeria, let's do our due diligence. You want to spend your money, spend it wisely. A lot of us have lost a lot of money because this fake agent, fake people. I don't even want to talk about fake agents. If you start sitting here to talk about fake agents, this video will not be over. And because I've gotten emails upon emails, emails, fake agents, fake promises. The other time I saw email just today, Thinking about this niche, I've been thinking about this niche all month, all weeks, all year. Yesterday I was on, on X and I saw a write up Australia, people that just jacked out to Austria. Few days ago, Nigerians, they have turned to uh, agents, uh, 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 agents uh, getting access for Nigerians in Nigeria and they want to jack out to Austria. How? They get, they get to Austria, no accommodation. The num their numbers is nowhere to be found. The house they say, they, like, why are you guys complicating things? You just, you just cross over, you want to cut the bridge. The next thing, if Austria, Austria, Austria government said they don't want Nigeria again, it will be another bad record for us. Please, let's be mindful and just let's be mindful the way we are so money conscious in this country. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm dropping this video. This is my first video and I'm coming on this note just so that any, any part of this video, anytime I'm posting this kind of video, my face will be like this, not smiling. I'm looking straight to the camera. I'm talking to you guys. This is going to be our, thing, our, our mood for this video until everybody decides to calm down. 
Let's be mindful. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section of this video. If I'm, I'm joining this niche because it, I, I feel so emotional about it because people I know has lost money, friends and family. I don't even want to talk about myself, you know? So I'm saying this out of information I've gotten, complaints I've gotten on my emails. So those I'm jumping on this, we need to get it right and we must get it right. Enough of this false information. I'll talk to you in my next video. Please, if you like this content, Please drop your comment. Drop all your comments. Tag their names. If you can, not those with your full chest. Talk about it in the comment section. Let's just relate down the comment section. Enough is enough. Let's stop this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, please. I'm not wanting you to subscribe, but I'm just begging. <laughs> Let me laugh. God, have mercy. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Please subscribe. Turn up, um, turns up this video. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section, please. Very important to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Till I come your way next time. Anytime you see my face like this in thumbnail, just know that I've come to I've come to shake some tables, okay? Till I come your way next time. God bless you all. <laughs> and bye-bye.